Well, hey everyone, welcome back to the cabin. It's actually not that hot out today, it's just humid. But I hope everyone is having a great week. Uh, what I've decided to do is to go ahead and frame this outside wall in of the tractor portion here uh, with two by fours like I did the workshop over there. That way I can put uh, my siding on the outside there and hang tools on the inside. But I had to get these braces in here first. So let's go ahead and I'll bring a load of two by fours down here and we'll start framing this in. Well, I brought seven. I got one more over there, a long one. That's eight. So I'll get these broomed off and we'll start cutting them and putting them in place. Well, there's one thing about it. It takes a little while when you prepare this wood. Well, these are compliments of Mother Nature because the trees had blown down in a windstorm. But when I go out and fell a tree, um, that's everything from picking it out, felling it, hauling it up to the sawmill, uh, sawing it up, squaring the ends off, putting it in place. So it's a bit of a process when you do it, I'm going to call it homestead style, uh, from felling the tree to the final product. Lay this wall out. What I do generally is go three quarters beyond it, make an X because that's the side that my stud is going to be on. That won't need one. This one right here. There. I don't have one short enough. That looks like 30 and a quarter. Let's measure this one too. 27 and a half.
legs have got to be cut back before I can actually put this tube up here. You know, so. get this one cut off and we can start adding the ones in between. Get all these little marks transferred onto our 2x4. And remember I said I marked the head so my stud will actually sit behind that. This one. Well let's see, we've got to transfer this one up here so I got the big level to do that with. Looks like right about there. I'm just going to make it all the way down just like that. We'll bring it across with a square so we know where our stud is going to sit. It's like Burger King. It's a flame broil. Well, we're all enjoying a hamburger. I cooked one for the pups as well. 
um, and they actually had a hamburger bun too but separately anyway they're enjoying that so I'm gonna go ahead and eat my hamburger and then we'll get back down there and continue framing These are all the two befores that I had up there underneath the carport that I had pre-cut. But I've got a few more up here by the sawmill that are actually a little longer than this. Um, if I need to use them, but looks like I'm going to have to jump back on the sawmill and saw some more. Well, this one two before I've got right here, it's really warped. But if I put it up here against the post, I can straighten it out by nailing it as I go.
friends, I'll tell you, running back and forth hauling water, trying to tend to this grass all week and this landscaping and running back and forth down there framing actually took all week long. But I'm really glad to get this grass in here because I think it's really going to look good once it gets up really high. So be sure and stay tuned because we're going to be putting the siding on the tractor portion of the workshop next week. You know, when I was, if you like framing, when we were framing that um, outdoor toilet, Jennifer and I did a little skit. You can click up here in the top right hand corner. I think that you'll enjoy it because it still cracks me up today. Friends, thanks for watching. We really do appreciate it. We look forward to seeing you back up here at the cabin again next time.